Welcome to Stampin' Sunday. This is an open collaboration hosted by Thelma Hall and Crafton by the Pond. My name is Emily and you found Emily's Paper Caper, where I love to scrapbook, rubber stamp, junk journal, and make cards. Last week I stamped off some images with house mouse stamps. This is one of them. And I promised to come back and show you the completed cards, so I'll do that. And then if you stay watching, I'll show you a recently completed junk journal where I included the pages I made stamping on a paper bag. That paper bag stamping was a recent Stamping Sunday video. I'll link to it up in the card if you wanna go check it out. But I promised Thelma that I would come back and show her what those junk journal pages turned out like. So for a smaller image that I had of a house mouse, I cut them out in an oval and then did some layering. I added stickles to the egg and went in and colored with colored pencils, decided to finish things off with some flowers there and stickles to the center. I did some background stamping on the cards. On the inside, I used Happy Easter. That's a, a PSX stamp from 1990. Very, very pretty detailed stamp. Did some more coloring with colored pencils and I had some bunny washi tape and I just put that on the inside of the cards. And on the back, I decided to use this tiny bunny because it's just so cute for my signature stamp. And there's multiple versions of this smaller image. I colored each one a little differently but general theme is the same. Then for the larger image, I cut out some ovals using my creative memories to layer it up and did the coloring with colored pencils. The inside of these is pretty much the same. Added some flowers out of my flower bin and each one has a little bit different colors on the egg. It was a lot of fun to make these. And for the envelope, on the back of the envelopes, I put this bunny stamp and use the bunny up here for the return address as well. So these will be going out to my YouTube friends and other friends to wish them Happy Easter. And for the junk journal that I made, I used a cinch tool. My friend Erin had one and wasn't using it and she gave it to me. So I've been having a ton of fun making journals and binding them with the cinch tool. In another video, I can show you more about that tool. But this junk journal contains some of the elements that I've been making recently for junk journals, including some of the paper bag stamping. So I'll just go through here and find some of those. Here is one of those brown paper bag stamping pages. And I think I did four of those brown paper bag stamping pages. So I will just flip through here and point them out. I like to repurpose my coloring pages, old in index cards. This was a flyer from a box of chocolate I got at Valentine's Day. Here's another one of those brown paper bag stamped pages. Kind of adds a nice bulk and texture to the book. This is just sewing pattern tissue paper added to a page of coloring. I think there are two more brown paper bag pages. There's another one. And the fourth one. So that's, that's my most recently made junk journal. I will fill this with journaling and art journaling and 
doodles and it'll be a lot of fun. Don't forget to check the hashtag Stamping Sunday to see what everyone else has been stamping and creating this week. Keep on scrapping and paper crafting everyone.